guys today's video is about school hacks and crafts so subscribe down below ring the bell and let's go first let's make this diy pencil holder which is my favorite diy for today so what you're all going to be needing are some paper straws and yes you have to use paper straws for this diy i'm using these pink ones take one straw and cut it into two equal halves then cut all the other straws in same way in equal size here are all of my straws now you have to use an empty pringle scan like so and clean really well from inside. Now take one straw and mark where you have to cut the can. And cut the can to size. Now I'm using white glue to apply the straws on the can like so. You can also use hot glue, it will be a bit more faster but I recommend using white glue because it's the easy way to do this. I also applied a green ribbon at the bottom and it turned out amazing what we all used was a Pringles can, some straws and a ribbon and now you can store your craft supplies in that. So beautiful. Now we're making this cute pencil topper you can make it in minutes. You'll need some pen caps of old pen that you don't use anymore. I know you have these. So take out some old pens and take the cap. You're also going to be needing some air track clay. This clay is so soft and it dries up squishy. So that's the exact texture of a marshmallow. So that's exactly what I'm going to make. I'm going to make this clay into a marshmallow like so. And yeah, make sure that your cap fits in back of your pencil or pen. Now snip away the plastic thing on the cap like so and push it in your clay like so. Let that completely dry. Then you can make faces on your marshmallow. I'm using a black pen to do this. This one turned out really beautiful as well. You can take it on and off your pen or pencil. And yeah, cool. Stapler pins, check. But they're kind of boring. So let's make our own unique way in a different way. Here I'm using sharpies and apply them on the pin like so. So cool, right? You can go for any color that you like. Here I'm going for blue and pink at the first time and they're really beautiful. Put these pins into your stapler and you'll be having colorful pins. Now you can also use one pin and you can apply multiple colors only on one pin like so. That way you can use your one pin and you can have multiple colors every time. So cool, right? Here we go. My first color is orange. So yes, I will have orange pin this time. Okay, moving on, we're making a Starbucks notebook, so you'll need a notebook and a Starbucks bag. So if you have a Starbucks bag laying around, just don't throw it away. You can use it in many DIYs like I'm doing here. So you'll need your scissors and cut it open like so. So you kind of have a chart paper thing that you can then cover your notebooks with. So cool, right? So this is what I'm doing here. I'm taking the paper and I'm covering my notebook like so with the paper like I usually do. It's really easy to do and the end result, it looks really beautiful.